Everyone, welcome back to Moneyline Media. And as we present Hot Stove, this is a really hot one. We got Nate Rodriguez here. Oh, episode 16, I think it is. And, and 16 it is. And we got the best guest so far. Right? <laughs> so before, nope. We, nope. before we get started, <laughs> how, I know you recently had labrum surgery. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Um, I just uh, finished PT just an hour ago. I'm just okay. getting my strength back and started throwing motions. We just started throwing motions today, so we'll see how it goes from there. Okay, okay. Uh, I know you're expected to miss the season. A lot of people are going to miss you. A lot of people. Yeah, I miss them. So. Yeah. <laughs> so you're in California recovering. Not a bad place to be. Where in California are you recovering? I'm over in the valley, uh, Mission Hill, California, over here in the mountains. And now I'm just showing out here. Also, are you originally from California? No, no. Everybody, single has a thing where he calls me a Cali boy. I'm actually from New York. But oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm from all over the place. I grew from up in Florida. I came back to New York. Went back and forth, back and forth. You're just, uh, you go everywhere. You go wherever everywhere. you're needed. You're like Superman. You go wherever yeah, you're there needed. There you go. That's why I'm wearing the glasses. I don't wear my glasses when I'm on the field. So. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, so, unfortunately, you're going to miss the season. What is something that you're going to miss the most about being with the Brooklyn Tides? The family, man. The Tides. Yeah. The tides itself. I miss them already. I miss them. I talk to them all the time in the chat. Yeah. And it, it's going to be it's gonna be very weird not being on that field with them. And even even I'm all the way over here. So I told them, you know, FaceTime me so I can watch the game. But I doubt that happened. So. <laughs> You'll be back before you know it. And like you said, your PT is going great. Um. So you're you're kind of one of the glue guys on this team. That there's been friction on the team, and you and Stella are two glue guys that have kind of kept it together. What's that like? I mean, we just play the game, and we yep. just keep everyone intense and keep it going. You know, I mean, it's all about it's like at the end of the day, it's just a game. You know, we're all here there to have fun. Right. That's true. And That's I don't want to like push it. There's no need for like us to like just. We just got to go out there and play ball. That's all it's about. Yeah, that's all it's about. Just playing baseball. So tell me about your baseball career prior to the Tides. Like before you were on the Tides, how did you get your start in baseball? And, and give us everything up into the Tides. Everything. I mean, everything. I, <laughs> I played T-ball over in Florida. That's when I first I learned okay. how to play baseball. So. Um, but I hated T-ball. I did not like the fact that we had to hit the ball that was just not moving. Okay. So my dad put me on a different team where they would throw the ball to you. And so from there, I just I fell in love with the, the fact. That if it wasn't for the fact that my dad didn't take me out of that league and put me where they threw the ball to you, I probably wouldn't be playing baseball. Oh, <laughs> to awesome. To be very honest, because I, I did not like when the ball was just staying there for me. You wanted a challenge. Yeah, I wanted a challenge, and that's how I am. I'm a very competitive person right. when it comes to sports, period. So I need that that challenge. Otherwise, I'm just going to be there. Like, what's, what's the point? <laughs> right, right. So with your Tides career, do you is there a memory with the Tides that sticks out to you the most? Uh there, there's this memory where Fala, Fala gets hit by a pitch right in the, right in the knee. Oh. It was, it was my first. My first week back from, uh, from another injury, and I came back, and I was recording. I was recording that video, and all you hear is, like, just a knock on his knee, and you just see him fall to the ground. I thought, at first, you know, at first it wasn't funny, but after a while, you start watching it over and over and over. <laughs> it's just funny and funny, so I decided to make it into a meme. <laughs> I made it into a, a t-shirt. I gave it to him for his birthday, and he just wore it the whole day. It was one of the greatest. Like That's one of my favorite tied memories because that's awesome. it's him <laughs> getting hit by a baseball. <laughs> Speaking of people getting hit by baseballs, apparently that is something that you that happens to you a lot. Why do pitchers yeah. hate you? Why do they hate you? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. The ball just seems to find me. It just finds my arm, my leg, whatever. And I've been, I've been getting hit. I, I think I led the team in hit by pitches this year. Wow. <laughs> year. And oh it was just bad. It started off with um, Ricky DeVito on the um, brothers. 
and he threw a 96 miles out right on my elbow and I was just done for that like I mean I I, I ate it I guess <laughs> right. but it was just bad and after that I just kept getting hit by pitches it, it looks like he he hit me and the ball just managed to stay there so I guess all the other balls just kept hitting me. Hitting me. It just kept coming. And it just, that's a magnet in me. <laughs> you have a, a one that sticks out in your mind more than any of them. Like, out of all the times, because apparently you get hit by pitches a lot. So, yeah. like, <laughs> which one sticks out to you the most? <laughs> the, the Ricky DeVito one, the first one. Of the season. First one. First, it, first cut. It was, I would... I came up to the plate. I'm like, wow, this guy, you know, he's throwing hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's throwing hard. He's up there. And I'm like, okay, you know what? He threw the ball away. Second pitch, he threw it right down the middle. I was like, okay, I'm ready. Here comes. I'm ready. I, I'm ready. I'm, as soon as I pick up my leg, the ball's already hitting me. <laughs> yeah. So there was no reaction, no timing. All I could do is just get hit. And you just see me spinning around and I just run to the base. I'm just like, yo, what just happened? <laughs> right, right. That, that was the one that stuck to me most because it actually stuck with me for a good month. So, <laughs> um, so talks about how you get p- hit by pitches a lot, but people say that you're, you're, you're a great fielder. You're, you're a great hitter. Um, what do you prefer doing? Do you prefer, f- do you prefer fielding or, or, or do you prefer hitting? If I didn't meet Andrew Sulla, I would prefer fielding. Okay. But ever since I met him and he taught me a different view of hitting and the way he taught me, I choose hitting every time. I wow. love to hit. Well, that's another thing I want to bring up. You kind of got a little bit of a bromance with Andrew Stella. I love it. That's very good friends. <laughs> that's my best friend. <laughs> yeah, very good friends. How did you guys meet and how did you guys become so close? Ah, uh, it's a funny story. Um, well, we met we met through Dimitri. Um, okay, I was yep, yep. Dimitri, college baseball with him, and he told me to come down to a game in, uh, in Queens. And I was like, you know what, why not? I'll do it, I'll try it. And we went, and Sulla happened to be on that team. And he was, I could hear him yapping, telling me <laughs> something. But I was up to bat, and I, I was like, I'm not going to pay attention to this guy. I don't know him. No. And then um, I decided to try what he was telling me the next at bat because I did terrible that bat. And I tried what he told me, complete different result. And ever since then, I just kept going for him for advice and we just always talked. And it, me and him, we just put, honestly, we're like peanut butter and jelly. And you brought up another one of your good friends, Dimitri. Dimitri is a character. He is a character. <laughs> he's, he's great. How did you guys become friends? Uh, we, we picked up uh, in college baseball. He was uh, it was at BMCC, and it was at oh, a tryout. Okay. And it was, we were running during practice, like the first tryout. And he was the only one that was, like, not picking up the pace. So I kind of, like, just pushed him. To <laughs> oh, gotcha. Okay. And from there on, we kind of just clicked on. And he's he's a... Funny, funny dude, man. He's freaking one of the funniest guys I know, and he's one of the greatest people that I know. He, both of them, both of them are my best friends growing up. Yeah, I mean Dimitri deserves his own show. I and I love Stella. Stella is yeah, yeah. He's Stella, both, great. both of them are characters. They're both great. I mean, all of you, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All <laughs> of you guys are great though. The tides are awesome. Okay, you have been named kind of like the nicest guy on the team. Sweet. By by most people. What is that award like for you? <laughs> I mean, I, I just, I I guess I just try to spread that positivity around, you know? It's, it's contagious. Positive energy. We don't, the world is too dark for there not to be light in the right. world. You know? Right. No, I, I love that. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, every once in a while, you never know what someone's going through. You gotta be nice to them somehow, some way. It's always good. So beautiful. I like that. So last year, you moved from outfield to first base. What was that transition like? Yeah, I mean, I'm an athlete. If, if, yep. if, if, if someone tells me to go play the position, I'm going to learn and I'm going to try and I'm going to adapt. I'm going to adapt to the position. And honestly, I loved it because 
I got to talk to more people. I was out there in the outfield just talking to myself the whole time. <laughs> and, you're, that's a team player, though. You're just yeah. like, wherever I can go, I can go. Wherever, wherever they want me, I'll go. That's how it is. I've always been like that since I was a little kid. So, so you come to, in 2018, you come to the Tides. You come with Stella. How, how does Stella convince you to come on the Tides? It's very easy. It's super very- easy. Completely <laughs> full. <laughs> yeah, it's complete baseball, and I was like, "Oh, you got baseball team? All right, they need a guy. All right, I'll come, no problem." <laughs> and and uh, they fell in love with me. I fell in love with them, and that's how it goes on. We came. I became a tie that day, and I'm be a tie forever. <laughs> so it's being a tie forever. What is the tides like? What's something about the tides that like people just don't understand? You know, from an outside perspective looking in, it's this men's league baseball team but as someone who's kind of not in the inside yet but someone who's like kind of on the outside inside if you know what I mean I'm on like the outer layer what is what goes on inside that makes it so special we're all misfit (laughs) (laughs) that's that's the best way I could put it like we're all a group of uh we instantly have that chemistry of a group of misfits that just instantly click with each other. Yeah. We don't have any black, like none, no bad blood with each other at all. Mm-hmm. And we all find a way to pick each other up one way or another. Awesome. And it, it's just it's basically a family. Like we will have some fights here and there, but at the end of the day, we squash it. We, the, at the end of the day, we want to win the game. <laughs> Yep. That's all that matters to us. And we just, we're a very competitive nature. That's awesome. Um, do you have a favorite game that you've played with the Tides? Uh, yeah, I have, I have a couple. Um, I guess, I guess one of my favorite games was a playoff game with, uh, uh, it was against the Orioles. We had a walk-off. That's one of my favorite games because I, because Robbie was really struggling at the plate. And then he finally, like, decided to go the other way, and he rips one the other way. And we ended up winning that game because of that apple taco that he did. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. By the way, you just have this such a infectious, positive energy <laughs> that just – it really translates, and it's it's something that's so beautiful. Try to like read it. You I'm do. To read it's so it. beautiful. All right, <laughs> this you. game this game hasn't been known for the positive vibes, but I have to play it with you. Most likely to. Um, we'll start we'll start off with most likely to uh, finish the bag of sunflower seeds. Single easily. Single e- easily. Okay. Yeah, I, I watch him. Like he's the guy to go to for sunflower seeds. Yeah. Okay. If okay. You want sunflower seeds? You know, single's gonna have a bag. So. Gotcha. All right. Who has the best? Okay, so this is two a two parter. Who has the best on field style, and who has the best off field style? Off the off the field, there's a lot. Um, we got to go with my guy Dimitri. Okay. We got to go with Jonathan Fonseca. Okay, Fonzie. Um, yeah. Got to go with Thingo. Thingo has some. Thingo's he's got a some high beat. He's he a high was, beat. He, has he was good. not. He came on two weeks ago. Was not happy. Some guys have named him the the, the worst stress. They always give it to him. They always <laughs> give it to him. And I, I do too, you know. We like to mess with him. We, he chose us. We chose him back. <laughs> yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, um, on I, the field, those are my three. For off okay. the field. Michi, gotcha. Bond, and Singo. Similar Everybody styles. Their own style. It's good, but it's not like this. Um, on the field, I got to go with my guy, Louie. It's because of his, it's not only the way he, he, his attire, but the way he, he, uh, his, uh, his, his swag on the field. Gotcha. You no, know, getting the ball, he, he's just so smooth with it. And hitting the ball, he's just, uh, he's just, he's the guy you just want to see play. Um, uh, got oh. Andrew Sella, fundamental. He's fundamentally sound. And we got JP, JP. Awesome. Got a weird, got a little weird arm, but other than that, he's good. <laughs> he's got okay. that, he's got that swag on that field. I know you're all about positive, but I asked the other guys, so I have to ask you: 
Uh, who has the worst on-field style and who has the worst off-field style? Off, off the field? Yes. I, I, I love Jerry, but it's Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's Jerry. Oh, that's Except the, his it, sneakers. His sneakers are, are good. Uh, other than that, it's Jerry. <laughs> um, on on the field with the worst style, it probably that's a tough one. Um, I go with Bobby. Yeah, that's a popular answer. Yeah, Bobby because he he's beautiful on that mound. But his attire and everything, man, he has no, no, nothing, yeah, no look. Like he, 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 I understand it, you know, because he, he's not there to to show off or whatever. He's just there to pitch and strike guys out and hit fucking bombs and shit. Oh, right, bomb. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I get it, I get it. Um, who at the end of the night, if you guys were at a bar, who would pick up the tab? Jay, without a doubt. Who Jay. would? Who would leave without paying their part of the tab? Michi. Easy. <laughs> I've known him Wait. for quite some time. <laughs> and oh. it's, it's him every time. Amazing. Um, who is the most fun to go out with? The most fun? Uh, Paul. Paul. Fond. I've, I've gone out with them. Fond is very fun to hang out with. Me and him, we, we go back and forth. That's my guy. That's I, awesome. I love hanging out with him. Uh, Stella, obviously Stella. But not to go out, go out. It's definitely Paul and, uh, and Fonz. Fonz. Okay. Um, who is most likely to wear the big chain on the field? Like the big Joanna Cespedes chain. That's, uh, that's Dimitri. Fonz. He has his number. Okay. I think the coolest thing. I'm probably going to do that next. Uh, it is sick. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Louis. Louis definitely. And myself, I, I wear a chain. My chain broke, but I'm gonna fix it. Um, but I definitely wanna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get that big chain and pop it out like they pop do. Pop it out. No, it's not. <laughs> it's swag. It's definitely <laughs> swagger. Pop out the chain. <laughs> yes. Um. Who is most likely to come to the field in the wrong uniform? Uh, Fonz. I've I've seen him do it before. I think I've seen it. Yeah, definitely Fonz and Dimitri. Once in a blue, it's not, it's very rare. Um, and not, not many else, it's just them two, really. Okay, okay. Them two. Um, I, don't, I don't think anybody else, I mean, we all wear the same, the same yep. jersey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who is most likely to forget their glove at home? Uh, that's a tough one. Um, Dimitri, he's done it before. He usually always has his glove. This one game, he he brought it, but he left the glove at my house. <laughs> oh, gotcha. So he did it before, and um, that's it, really. I've never seen anyone else to get their glove. Gotcha. Okay, this is the mo- one of the most popular, most likely, too. Uh, who, and you've been named in the good side of this. Who would you most likely let date if you have a sister or, if not, an imaginary sister? Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> Cause I know all of them. Yeah. I gotta go with JD. Okay. JD. Out of all of them, definitely JD. He's one of the nicest guy I know. I would say Dave too, but he's married, so yeah, that's no disrespect. <laughs> exactly. But, um, right. And now here's the bad question: Who yeah. would you least let? Date your sister, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> it's like second nature at it's, this it's point. Ready, it's ready there, it's Bobby. <laughs> I, I don't see him ever. Nope, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Who is always early to the games? Me and Stella, Stella, Stella mainly. But if it's if it's not him, it's it's nah, it's always him. It's always him and I. <laughs> Who is the latest to the games? Oh, the latest. Usually the latest. Uh, oh, that's a tough one. I got to really think on this one. This one's tough. Um, JP, 
but that's only because he coaches. Okay. So I got to give it to JP, even though he coaches. There's no excuse for that, but I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, who would most likely bat flip on a walk? Yeah, Robbie. Robbie. He's done it multiple times. Uh, I want to try it, but that's his thing, so I can't do it. Can't You can't, yeah. He, like, copyrighted it, so can't really do it. Who, um, who would most likely charge the mound after getting hit by a pitch as someone who gets hit by pitches a lot if some who would most likely charge the mound i wanted to but i can't i'm too nice <laughs> <laughs> i just run right to the field now i think fellow will have a boiling point you know where he'll get let's say if he gets hit he gets hit twice and it's the third time the third time he's definitely going Gotcha. And out of all people, it would most likely be Salah. Okay. Okay. Who is yeah, least? Anyone else charging the mound? <laughs> who is least likely to charge the mound? Uh, I gotta go with um, myself. <laughs> yeah, you're the chillest. Yeah, I mean, I've gotten hit so many times. I even put like a hashtag out there: "Don't hit Nate." <laughs> and they still hit me, and I still didn't charge them out. So I'm still here. I'm still there. <laughs> yeah. Who's most likely to get ejected from a game? Uh, I gotta go with Stella. 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 But like it, it. Like I said, it's gotta be like a a boiling point for him. Gotcha. Um, Dave, definitely Dave. Balls and strikes because he definitely argues a lot with the balls and strikes. Out of yeah. all of us, it's mainly him. Gotcha. Okay. And that's it, really. I don't see anyone else getting ejected. If you got a, a management position at your favorite MLB team, who is the first guy that you'd hire as a coach? First guy? Yeah. I, I got to go with Saul. Um, yeah. He would hire me, but even though I wasn't picked the first time, but it's whatever. Um, <laughs> It's definitely Fella and it's definitely JP, both of those guys. So awesome. their knowledge of baseball, IQ is top notch. Top. You can't ask for anything better. All right, this was a big topic with Jerry. Who is in the best shape in the of the team? Who was in who would be in the best shape? Or who 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 is like in the best shape? Uh, it usually lobby. <laughs> Nobody's okay. there, but it's usually lobby. Robbie's always in shape, so okay. Um, and Ukes. You oh, Ukes got best shape. Oh, that's and gonna. He, he, he's a big guy. He is a big guy. He he came on. Yeah, he, he 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 slacked off last season, but there's some reasons behind it. Best shape though is is Robbie hands down because that dude. Works out, <laughs> and and sometimes solo, but he, he kind of fell off the wagon. But well, he had that. He's he, getting back there. He's getting back. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, who is usually in the worst shape? Me. You okay? Oh, that's see, nice guy. Won't call out his teammates. I won't call <laughs> nobody out. <laughs> you even <laughs> say, it. "Oh, actually, you know what? I call Dimitri out. I call Dimitri out. Dimitri. Dimitri is." Yeah. <laughs> Dimitri, okay. Okay. Because you hit the ball out of the infield. <laughs> Jukes, uh, Jukes got critiqued in, in an earlier episode that. Uh, he always does. They always pick on him. It's, it's always him, Jerry, Paul. They're always going at it. They're always going at it with each other. So, uh, they all go at each other <laughs> with this stuff. <laughs> They're always trolling. That's, that's what the team is. We all troll each other. Each other, I know. Like, this is our family. <laughs> it's yeah. It, if you didn't troll each other, do you really love each other, right? Like it's exactly. That. Yes. exactly. That's the best way to put it. Yes. If you we, if you can't troll someone, you don't really love them. <laughs> That's so true. Very true. All right, I got one last question for you. Game right. on the line. Who do you want up there hitting for you? Hitting. Ooh. Game on the line. I gotta go with. I gotta go with Louis. <laughs> Louis. I gotta okay. go with Louis. After this season, I got him and Stella. They're back at each other. But Louis, man, he 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 proved it time and time that you want that guy. That's the guy you want because he hits, man. He 
it does not matter. He touches that ball, that ball is going somewhere. <laughs> awesome. Nate, thank you so much for joining. I had such a good time. I can't wait to see you get back on the field. And, and best of luck with your recovery, man. I'll be there next year, hopefully. We'll see. Oh, we'll see oh, where it goes. <laughs> for sure. Best of luck, man. Have a good one. <laughs> That was Nate. Nate is awesome. Nate Rodriguez, great guy. Uh, so happy that he was able to come on. Wishing him best of luck. Wish we could see him on the field. But that is another episode of Brooklyn Tides Hot Stove. And if you like this, we will be doing a Mid-Island preview show soon. Don't know the exact date, but make sure you stay tuned. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And have a blessed weekend.